time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Test it, trade it, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, August 29th. Hope everybody's doing well on this Tuesday. We got ourselves a little short squeeze situation going on. So for tranche one, I'll be doing the two to one ratio. Uh, so somebody post Elliot. Yeah, I just hit my 40% on my uh, afternoon PM iron condor as well. So closed half on that. So some nice winners today. My duck hit 20%, still holding the second half of that. Looks like it's just going to expire up in the beak. Did some JSP just sell puts that hit 50% pretty quickly. Dick K special hit two profit targets before getting stopped out. So that worked. The quick, quick release AM Iron Condor booked a small profit. So some nice winners so far. Don't let us down. Power hour. It's time for a good pH. So looks like it could be a straddle, could be a little bit lower premium strangle. Let's see where this settles out in the next couple minutes. SPX up 58, about 1.3%. NASDAQ up over 2%. Russell up 25.5%. Dow up 235%. Silver up 2%. Notes and bonds up big. All the grains pushed lower today. Bitcoin up 8%, back up over 28,000. VIX down to 14 and a half. 10 days ago, it was almost 19. Quite a little contraction. All right, a couple minutes before I enter tranche one here. And it looks like it's going to be a 4490 straddle. So on my uh, short squeeze, tranche one, I do two to one, and then I've got a stop at six, and then I reduce it down to three. If I hit, uh, if we get to 40%. So I'm on the 4490 straddle, it looks like. Which 
trying to get filled at 1170. Filled at 1180. A little drunken straddle. So let's see, I forgot on my uh, my PM iron condor, I need to reduce my stop on that also from 12 to 8. Just realized I had not done that. All right, there we go. So I got into tranche one at 1180. So when that gets down to about 710, I will reduce my stop from six to three. I think I can just put it two times. Yeah. All right. So there's my tranche one. It's currently trading at 1120. I do not, Morrow. I do the I do one to one on the tranche two and three. I uh, do eight by sixteen. Got out of our one two DTE B and B for a quick ten percent profit, up a few hundred on the one three. Our two four is down a few hundred, and our six seven, unfortunately, is down now. Was uh, was up nicely. Now it's down. So all of those will come off tomorrow. Had to bail on the TGIF. It's down to our exit point on that one. My PM iron condor is nice and centered. So the September 13 time fly, it's above our, it's above our, uh, call strike there. So I kind of modeled this out earlier. If you, if you close the, the current call calendar, you'd book a tiny bit of profit. Then you try to reposition it higher. The valley between the fly and the calendar just gets too wide. So I'm not going to adjust again, unless, unless we get a, you know, decent size pullback under the 
call strike down to about 44.75. Uh, so unless that happens, I'm just going to close out the SEP 13 time fly before end of day here. In our set 15, we also added an upside calendar. So we could use a little pullback on that one as well. VIX down 4%, VIX futures down 3.5%. Apparently the jolts, job openings, the market is a big fan of this morning. Tomorrow pre-market, ADP non-farm employment change, preliminary GDP. Thursday pre-market core PCE and unemployment claims. And then Friday pre-market, some more employment numbers. Nice Vegas, Michelle. And then don't forget, next week is a short week for Labor Day, Monday's off. <laughs> um, what do you mean, Ryan P? You mean like uh, from a vol expansion kind of thing, like Monday has? Um, I don't, I don't know. I I don't know the answer to that. I don't recall. Is Tuesday gonna act like Monday, or is Tuesday gonna be Tuesday? That is a good question. Uh, I would not, I mean the, you know, I usually do the three, five, so you can't do the three because the, uh, Monday's closed. So you could do a four or five, but I have not, the testing on four or fives is definitely not good. So I would not be doing a four or five, still do a five, seven or a six, seven.
as far as zero DTE stuff, yeah, it's still still treat Tuesday like Tuesday. No, just the just the one time fly. The other one's still fine. Just the I, I won't close the set fifteen. It hasn't even pushed up to the call strike. But the set thirteen is the one that we need to close here. What what I don't want to happen is, you know, gap a gap up overnight, then we're losing, you know, right now we're down. 14 percent ish so i really don't want to take a loss more than 15 percent on these so if we're booking five to ten percent you know i want it to only take a two or three trades to get get that back so you got to really focus on managing risk on these without letting letting any big losers come in About 10 minutes till tranche two, tranche one still hanging out. Good position. Yeah, Tevis, exactly. So what, what you're trying to avoid is if the market gaps down and just runs lower then you're then you don't take the trade but if if you know you get that small gap down and then you wait for it to kind of push above just a little bit above where it opened before you enter so it's it's uh what you'll notice in the back test if you play with those two if you play with that filters that it, it does it filters out a lot of Losers, you don't take as many trades, but overall, it's a better result. A follows, yeah, I'll be doing tranche two and three just as normal. PT back in the house. Good to have you back. Still some time before tranche two, but could be could be another straddle or maybe five wide. For my PM iron condor to get out at 80%. I'm looking for 360. It's still trading at 920. Got some juice left in those.
Uh, Mirage, I started to look at it last night and I, I didn't get through it. It looked like, I think, um, I just, I, I kind of, I had, I was on my way out the door, so I didn't get to look at it in a lot of detail, but it looked like, um, looked like it was pretty flat through yesterday as far as performance goes, whereas I'm down in power hour. So I think it, I think it performed a little bit better. The back test performed a little bit better. Well, if, if it's, you know, sometimes the back test will go inverted, which we never do. So that, you know, the tightest I go is a straddle. I'm not going to go inverted. So that's part of it now that we're in kind of a lower premium environment. So that'll be a difference. And then, um, you know, the other thing, sometimes I get in 30, 60 seconds before the back test and, you know, strikes can change. So that can happen as well. Yeah, I just do the two to one for tranche one, and then I go one to one on two and three, just like normal. We stay up a little bit here. We could get a five point wide for tranche two. In a pretty tight range back to uh, about 11.30 a.m. Central. Buy some longs for tranche two. Looks like it could be the ninety straddle again. Now it looks like it could be the 9590s. Give it another minute.
All right, I'm gonna go to the 95 90s for tranche two. I'm trying to get filled at 485. Filled at 485. 95 calls, 90 puts. Tranche one's trading down to 960. I'm looking for 710 to reduce my stop. Cooked myself a nice salmon filet on the Blackstone for lunch. It's delicious. I know you guys care about my my lunch menu, so I want to make sure I filled you in. Yeah, I've got a little little patio at my office here, so I got one just that small two burner version, and now I'm now I'm thinking I need to get one for my house too. I've got a Traeger smoker, and then I've got a regular propane grill. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to just get rid of the propane get, grill and go with the smoker and the and the uh, Blackstone. J trade, I'm on the 90 straddle for tranche one. Two to one puts the calls. Tranche two, I'm on the 95 calls, 90 puts. Getting the bounce back up to 44.94. I've got a little left over, Chris, if you need it.
Power hour squeeze situation, supposedly the best time to trade power hour these days, right? Let's see if it takes us home. Salmon, too many calories for you, Marl? It's good. That's good for climbing. Gives you those extra calories to burn. Uh, follow uh, the power hour squeeze setup is just if... SPX moves more than a half a percent from the open. So today, for example, right now it's up 1.4%. So significantly more than that. Look at this. Here's the expected move for the day to the upside. It was about 44.53. We are at Yeah, so for me, on a uh, if if SPX is up more than five point five percent from the open on tranche one, I do a two to one ratio, two puts to one call ratio. Some folks do it on all the tranches. I just I just do it on tranche one. I still go one to one on two and three. Speaking of tranche three. to buy some longs. Like we could, might, uh, five or five or ten wide. No, it's not letting me. Hmm. Why that is. All right, I'm going to have to get out of my PM iron condor so I can do tranche three. It looks like the 4,500, 4,495.
4,495, trying to get filled at 420. Filled at 425 for tranche three. Forty four ninety five is the sweetest of sweet spots for me. As SPX is hitting new fresh highs on the day. Give our time fly a little bit longer before I close it. So for tranche one, still currently trading at about 950. I need 710 before I just. NASDAQ up 2.2%.
Yep, anywhere about here or down to 4490 would would work. Between 90 and 97. So as far as live streaming tomorrow morning, Chad will be streaming again in the morning. I'll be back for power hour. And then Thursday morning, I'll be streaming at the live at the open in the morning. And I may have, I may or may not have a, uh, a new intro jingle for the morning session. just going to have to be there to, to hear it. Data junkie hitting 40%. Tranche one down to eight, a little over eight bucks. Just need another dollar to come out of that. I did not get through my September trade plan much today like I had hoped. So I'm going to have some, have a little time tonight and then try to get that out here in the next day or two. Not a whole lot's changing. Just some little tweaks here and there. Yeah, I don't know if there's any fixing power hour in for August. I think it was just, I think we're going to look back and just say, yep, August just sucked, but it'll be fine. That's, that's my initial assumption.
mean, it really, it really just comes down to, we had more moves right towards the end of the day lately than we've had in the past. Right. So is that going to continue? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. August did love her Ricks. You know, that's why, especially for power hour. I mean, I, I definitely see gaps and volatility and stuff and the effect of that on kind of some of the more morning earlier session type stuff. But for power hour, it really just comes down to, you know, this price make a big move too big of a move at the end of the day. And if it barely makes a move, stops you out and goes back in, you know, is that, is that because it's a Thursday or is that just because it just happened to make a little bit too big of a move that day? You know what I mean? And so to me, it's still more of just a probabilities deal. I don't, I don't get two for power hour. I don't get, I still have a hard time considering days, the days of the week being that big of a factor in my testing. You know, I do think relevance, like, you know, big moves up, you know, I, de I definitely think that has a, I, I definitely think there's some value in, you know, doing the two to one ratio, for example, after a big, big move higher, like today. I think there's some consistencies there, but. Dick K thinks I'll come around. No, Let's see, I need more, I need more data. All right, I'm going to close out our time fly. All right, just posted that in the Butterfly channel. It looks like our 1.3 DTE might be hitting 10% as well. Let's see, I got into that at uh, 16. It's not quite there. Uh, 
I'll put an order in at 1760 on my one three. See if that hits. The time flies strategy is posted in the butterfly trades channel, Mirage. You can check out the course on the time, the time fly strategy. It's, it's both a butterfly and a calendar. Oh, thanks, Ken. Ken answered it. SPX up around 44.98. Today's high being 44.98.59. And we got new highs on the day. Didn't quite get down to the point where I could reduce stop on tranche one. Now it's back up over 10 bucks. I think it just wants to hit 4,500 and come back down. Stop on tranche twos at 785. Spread's currently trading at 525. Tranche three is at 725. It's currently trading at 275. So we could handle a touch of 4,500 before it comes back down. That's all you get.
That's a big green bar. It's a big green daily bar. Looks like the last time we saw one of that size was back about on June 15th. All right, there it is, 4,500. That's all you get. You're done. I believe it got jolted, Krish. Jolted by the jolts. There you go. React off that 4,500. Just a little bit, though. Not too much. Just, you know, I don't know, five points. Tranche one back down to eight, a little over eight. Still looking for 4495 tranche one coming down to tranche one hit my uh, hit my 710 so let's move that down to stop down to 1010. Ten minutes till the bell, my friends. Let's not have a uh, last minute episode. Hanging around, hanging around our lovely forty four ninety five.
I'm going to move tranche three to a buck sixty five to exit. Tranche two, I'm going to move to a buck. Oh, wow. Tranche three hit a buck 65. Okay. Didn't expect that. Tranche two, I'm going to put it a buck 50. So I got out of my tranche three a little earlier than anticipated. Now I could use a few points lower. Two minutes till I bail. Trons two comes down a little bit. It should hit buck fifty. About 255, starting to bounce. Tranche two filled at 255. And tranche one. Trying to get six sixty five filled six sixty five right before five minutes till. Very nice. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, so tranche one got in at eleven eighty, closed at six sixty five. That was the two to one straddle. Tranche two got in at 485, closed at 255. And tranche three got in at 425, closed at a buck 65. Awesome. Nice day for zero DTE today, my friends. Did not have one losing trade. In fact, the only thing I got stopped at it was tranche was the was the third exit of the Dick K special, but still profitable. Awesome. All right. Uh, like I said, tomorrow morning at the open chat, we'll be streaming, but we'll be back streaming again for power hour tomorrow. All right, guys, have a good evening. Take care. Chat with you soon.